favorite place, our beginning and end to each day. Items selected and placed with care, decorated beautifully, memories we share. We always return to this place called home. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Today's DIYs are going to be using some twine because this is a twine challenge hosted by Creations by Favi and Crafting with Maria. As always, the links to their channels will be in the description box as well as a playlist so you can check that out once you're done watching my video. Now let's get on to the DIYs. For our first DIY, I am using this frame. I actually have this left over from another DIY that I've used and I'm just going to cut this off, remove all of this. You also want to remove these clips and you can just do that with your pliers, they can come out quite easily. And then you're going to take your hot glue and your twine and you're going to start adding a little glue to the back of the frame. And you're going to take your twine and just stick that on as well. And then you're going to take the rest of the twine and stick it to this side. You can also do this in straight lines if you prefer, but you just want to make sure that the twine is really nice and taut. And then I'm bringing the twine back, so I'm just doing like a V shape I suppose. And then again just sticking it down with some hot glue. Bringing it round back again. And I think we might have just enough space to do it one last time on the other side. I think this would look really nice if you've got it a bigger scale. I'm really running out of space so that's why I'm using a small frame just to give you the idea. And you can use some photos, it'd be really nice in black and white but I don't have any printed at the moment so I'm just going to use some of these die cut sheets and they come in really handy. You're also going to need some small pegs you can get different colours, I've got white ones here. I'm just going to choose a few, they might actually be a little big. So I'm going to go with some smaller ones. Just pop this out. So I've got a few out and now I'm going to start arranging them and taking these little pegs, opening them up and simply adding them to the string so that they can hold your little photos. I think this is really pretty and it's quite motivational, the little quotes that there are. Everything starts with a dream, follow your passion, you're awesome, wake up and live. Now I've done that, I'm just taking the camera, adding a little drop of hot glue and then we're sticking it in the corner. And then I'm also taking this heart and doing the same thing. And then this is optional, I'm just adding some fairy lights through the frame, winding it around all the way. And look at how pretty this is, I'm really happy with it. So let's move on to the second DIY. For the second DIY I am going to be taking some of this cork, but you can use cardboard if you want. And then you're going to have some twine and some of these foam stickers. You're going to take the foam stickers and add them to the back. This just makes it basically stay in place and not slip. But because I'm using cork, it probably would have been fine anyway. This is just really if you're using cardboard. Let's just make that a little bit more centered. And then this is really simple, you're going to take your hot glue, add a little and then just take your twine and we're just going to wrap it around the entire thing so that we're covering the surface. You're just going to keep adding a touch of hot glue as you go, bringing it right to the edge. So I've finished one full circle as you can see and then you're going to just bring it inside and carry on doing the same thing, applying glue and winding it around and we're just going to keep going until it's completely filled with twine. And 
look at how beautiful it is. It's really nice if you make a set of like three or five, you can gift them or sell them. And also you can paint them if you like. I would probably go over it with some Mud Podge if you are using it for tea or something like that. But I will probably just use this for a candle. For the next DIY, I'm taking these planters, as you can see, they're not that great quality. I think I got them for a pound, maybe in Poundland, so that's like the dollar stores. I'm taking some moss and I'm just going to cover all of that black that you can see, so it looks a little bit prettier and more expensive. I'm taking my hot glue to do this. And this moss I just found in my garden, around the park and things like that. It's already adding a lot to it, as you can see, it's really pretty now. Now I'm just going to take the twine, add some hot glue to the back, and then we're just going to wrap it around. And then add some more glue. I think I'm just going to go around this two or three times. And now you can do this with some stamps, you can do it with Cricut, you can freehand it if you want. I've got these dry transfer lettering, so I'm just going to make sure I've got the right way around. And I'm going to write always grow. And to do this you just take your pencil and then you go over the lettering. And here it is, it's so cute and adorable. Let's have a look at how they all look together now. So starting off with a little frame that we made. I'm really happy with this because it was just a frame at the end of the day and I just added a few little extra touches and we have something that's functional, pretty, motivational and it's super trendy as well. And don't forget you can also add photos to this, you don't have to have sayings like me. And then moving on to the coaster that we made, I thought I was going to make a set of this for tea or maybe for candles but I decided in the end it looked so perfect with this little plant that we transformed. I really like the quote on there, always grow. And then this is the three DIYs together. I really like the setup, I feel like they really suit each other, like it just matches as decor. So that's it for today, I hope that you have enjoyed all of the ideas and the DIYs if it has inspired you leave me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me thank you so much for watching as always please do take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next video till then bye